So today I did say I was gonna make a follow-up video regarding the restrictions of Fortnite cosmetics because the update we got yesterday is one of the worst updates that we got for those that do like the cosmetics in Fortnite. I think that this is one of the ways that Fortnite Creative is taking over Fortnite. I predicted that like a while ago, Creative was gonna be the future of Fortnite. You might as well just have your player base make content for you instead of yourself, right? Creative has blown up. Like you can look right now, there are tons of people playing Creative almost as much as people are playing the actual Fortnite itself, which is crazy to think about, but it makes total sense. I also predicted that like, yeah, Fortnite Battle Royale would get stale after six years, actually seven years at this point. The game is a Battle Royale. It's done to death already. You already have so much competition out there that Battle Royale in general is just kind of like, eh, like you could easily like have people make better game modes than this and have people make better experiences than this because Fortnite in of itself has to stick with the Battle Royale formula. But with Creative 2.0 UEFN, you could basically make anything that you want. Now we're still pretty limited on what we can do. Like I still want like a first person mode in Fortnite Creative, but we don't have that just yet. There's a lot of things you could do with Creative. And with the update that we got yesterday, it does really feel like Fortnite is pushing the agenda that Creative is the future of Fortnite. And with that in mind, there has to be changes because Fortnite Creative is not T-rated, at least most of them are. You have guns in most of them, but there are some experiences that don't revolve around guns. And I think from what I've read and from what I see with this, Fortnite wants to make a kid-friendly version of Fortnite where there are no guns and that everyone can enjoy it. Now, personally, I thought the game was already pretty kid-friendly already. There's no blood in the game. There's no swearing in the game. It's pretty chill. Like, it's really kind of harping on the T rating. I feel like that the T rating was meant for Save the World and not for Battle Royale in of itself. Like, the game is pretty tame, and there's already parental controls on what kids can hear and play in the game anyway. So, I'm genuinely confused as to why they decided to restrict certain cosmetics, and I've already seen all the memes. There's skins like Michael Myers that isn't restricted, even though he's a serial killer. There are skins that are restricted that make no sense either. And overall, it just has a lot of people upset because we want to use the cosmetics how we want to use them, and the fact that we can be restricted if we're playing a specific experience that is meant for E for everyone, it pissed a lot of people off, including myself. I think it's dumb, and it makes people not want to buy cosmetics anymore if they know that the skins that they're paying for can't be used in specific ways. People want to use the skins how they want to use them, and if you limit that from people, people aren't going to buy your skins anymore. It's just plain and simple like that. Well, yesterday, Fortnite did come out with a statement already, like within like 12 hours of the update, they already uh, gave an update to the whole thing. They said, more on today's rating announcement, about 7% of Fortnite outfits can only be equipped in Islands Rated Teen. Over the next year, we will enable most of these outfits to be compatible with all ratings by having them auto-adjust appearance based on the island you want to play. So basically, if you play on an E-rated map and you want to run the Raptor skin, they're probably going to get rid of his grenades that he has around his waist just so it's kid-friendly enough, which, again, like, the stuff in Fortnite is so cartoony anyway. How can people take this seriously that the bullets don't look cartoony or the grenades don't look cartoony? It's ridiculous to me that they're even doing this and the fact that it's not a matter of, oh, if you're a child account, you can't see it. No, everyone can't see it now because of this change. I think this is stupid. This whole idea that you can restrict cosmetics for everyone, again, not child accounts, but for everyone is stupid. The best way they can go about this that would probably be easier on them is that if your account is under 13, you follow the E rating or the E10 rating, your account cannot see the cosmetics that are currently being restricted right now. That would be the best solution in my personal opinion. Make it client side based. Make it so if your account is only an E rated account, you can't see cosmetics like Raptor and other cosmetics that are deemed to be inappropriate for younger audiences. And guess what? You also have emotes restricted. Make it so they can't see the emotes either. I think this would be easy to do instead of like actually putting in more effort to remove the stuff on cosmetics that would ruin the e-rated experience just make it client side based now there was also a huge leak in the community that i wanted to touch up on too and everyone's thinking oh this might also have some reason with it so it turns out we're getting a huge lego collaboration here in fortnite as soon as next month 
and there is a lot with this. Like you can play as an actual Lego character apparently. There's guns, there's benches, beds, fences, catapults. There are tons and tons of different Lego stuff that we're gonna be able to do in Fortnite. I don't know if these are like creative experiences or not, but this is kinda cool. Like honestly, this is really neat, but this almost kinda just tells me right here that the reason why they're restricting cosmetics and certain emotes and stuff like that is because they want to go in this direction where they want to go as kid-friendly as possible with collaborations like this. We are not familiar with Fortnite collaborations being this kid-friendly. Like, we've had collaborations like El Chapeline Colorado make its way into the game. We've had collaborations like that, but LEGO, it is a huge monster of a company, and it's extremely kid-friendly. I feel like this is not only the reason why that Fortnite is going in this direction where guns are being removed from loading screens. When you load up the game, the guns are gone. Like this is an extreme sort of overreaction from Fortnite in my personal opinion. The game was already kid friendly enough and the fact that they're like, oh, grenades are scary. We have to get rid of them is ridiculous. Was this like a huge overreaction from the player base? I don't really think it is because now we have to worry about the new cosmetics that come out if we can even use them or not. We're feeling restricted on things that we paid money for, right? Like it's not every single skin is restricted, but still it's like people paid money for Midas and they can't even run it in some creative experiences. And again, I did mention this in the last video, but we're getting an event this season and apparently it's rated E, meaning you can't run Visitor, you can't run Midas, you can't run Raptor, you can't run anything that Fortnite deems to be explicit. It's not affecting just creative, mostly. It's also affecting Battle Royale now with events and stuff like that. Who knows what else is going to happen? And the fact that they can do this is what's scaring me and what's scaring a lot of other people. Yeah, maybe your favorite skin wasn't affected by this. But who's to say that they don't change their mind on your skin? Who's to say that they can't just do this to everyone else with different outfits, right? If they can just do that, no one is going to want to buy skins in your game anymore, knowing that there is a slight chance that you can get restricted from using it. Even though you paid money for it, you could get restricted from it. And it's nothing you did wrong. It's the fact that Fortnite wants to build this Roblox-esque metaverse thing where everyone is a kid and everyone can see kid things and there's nothing violent about our games at all. It's absolute bullshit. I can't believe that it's actually happening like this. Instead of just making it client-based where if you're a child account, you can't see it. Instead, you affect everyone in your Fortnite player base. The ones that are above the age of 13. What is going on with the game? It's almost like a betrayal of trust with the entire player base that now people know they can do this to you. They can restrict you from using cosmetics if you want to play a tycoon game that has nothing to do with guns. It's honestly really scary to think about and this is a small niche thing but I know some content creators that make like screenshots of new skins and stuff and the maps that they use are like photography or photography maps. Those are all rated E because guess what? They don't need to put guns in that map and they can't use specific cosmetics on those maps anymore. What are we doing here, Fortnite? Why, why are we affecting everyone instead of just the kids that are playing the game? Why does everyone have to get affected by this? I don't like the response here. They said, oh, we're gonna tweak some cosmetics. Not all, some cosmetics that are too graphic for younger players. Just make it so if you're underage, you can't see what we can all see. It's as simple as that. I don't know why they don't just do that. This is it for the video again. I don't think I'm going to be talking about this again until there's like another update about it. I feel like they're putting more work into censoring cosmetics than just censoring everything for a smaller, younger account. Again, why are we affected? Why isn't it just the children accounts that are affected? You're losing trust in your fan base, Fortnite. You really are. And it's really sad that you went down this route. I feel like this is all just kind of like they were kind of forced to do this or like this just seems so uncharacteristic for Fortnite to do this. I've never seen a company ever like go this backhanded to the community. Like this is such a nervous reaction, I feel like, from them that maybe that this is all a mistake. But in reality, it's not. They pretty much confirmed that, yeah, we're doing this. But again... I feel like you could change it with a simple client-sided thing where only children accounts can't see what we can all see. It's as simple as that. I don't know why they don't just do that. Instead, they affect everyone in the community because I don't know. Guys, that's it for the video today. I will talk to you all later. Have a good one, everyone. See ya.